Hey Cool Worlders, it's David. Get your calendars out. On August 21st next year, Americans are going to be treated to a very special astronomical event, a total solar eclipse. Already being called the Great American Eclipse, everybody in North America should be able to see at least a partial eclipse. But if you are willing to make about a one day drive, then you will be able to see the awesomeness of totality. Trust me, seeing a total eclipse is a profound experience. You don't want to miss this. Total eclipses happen when the Earth, the Moon, and the Sun all line up in a configuration that we would call a syzygy. And what's happening is that the Moon, represented by my pinky here, is blocking out the Sun's light, represented by my thumb. From space, it's pretty clear what's happening. Basically, that dark spot called the Umbra will trace right along the US, giving us quite a show. Now, these events aren't super common. I mean, the last total solar eclipse viewable from the US was 26 years ago. It's actually kind of weird that it happens at all. The Moon and the Sun are approximately the same angular size on the sky despite the fact they are greatly different distances from us. Now the moon is slowly moving away from us at about four centimeters per year as a result of tides. So in about 500 million years time, it will no longer be possible to see total solar eclipses on the Earth. The moon will be too far away and thus its angular size will be too small to block out the sun. But that's a long way off, so in the meantime, let's enjoy the solar eclipses. Here's a map of where you can see the solar eclipses next year. That path is where you can see the total eclipses. It's about 70 miles wide and it passes from the west coast to the east. So that's really where you want to be. The closer you get to that line in the center, the longer you'll get to enjoy the total eclipse event. So the eclipse should start at about 10.15 a.m. Pacific time, making landfall just south of Portland, Oregon. But Portlandians should definitely make the 90 minute journey down to the Eola Hills for the best viewing and to be treated to a full two minute long total eclipse. After about an hour and a half, the Great American Eclipse will end as it passes just north of Charleston, South Carolina. So if you're in Charleston, I'd say make a short drive north towards this line and then you'll be treated to an eclipse which will last just over two minutes and 30 seconds. Actually, the city of Columbia in South Carolina is probably one of the best options for East Coasters. So you might have noticed what I just said there that the total eclipse on the East Coast will last about 30 seconds longer than that on the West Coast. But actually, if you wanna maximize every second of how long you get to observe next year's solar eclipse, then the peak place actually happens somewhere in between the east and the west coast. Tracing roughly from Ashland, Missouri over to Allensville, Kentucky, along this 300 mile stretch, observers can enjoy the full Monty of a total eclipse possible. I'm actually thinking of heading down to Columbia, South Carolina myself, so maybe I'll see some of you down there. I'll keep you posted as to where I end up. Of course, please do make sure you bring a pair of solar eclipse viewing glasses with you. I'll put a link down in the description below for where you can order some. Viewing the sun with a naked eye is a really bad idea. It'll ruin your eyesight. Plan your trips in advance because I would bet that some of the hotel rooms in these best viewing cities are gonna snap up pretty quick. To help you plan your trip, there's an awesome web app available at greatamericaneclipse.com. I'll put a link down below in the description. I actually use the app a lot to help make this video. You can just sort of move around on a map and see the different viewing conditions of each city. Hey, and to all of our non-American viewers, this is you know, a pretty good excuse to come visit the US if you're ever planning on doing that this would be a good time to come do it. Hey, next Thursday I'll be posting my first collaboration video on this channel about the new Star Wars Rogue One film, so do make sure you click the subscribe button below so you can get that on all the other videos from the Cool Wars Lab. So I hope this video was useful everybody. If you have any comments or questions about the solar eclipse or have any ideas for things you'd like us to talk about on this channel, then please do leave a comment below. And until next time, stay thoughtful and stay curious.